lo and behold, I am back again. Yes, I'm doing a lot of reviews today. Now, uh, this time, this is going to be a much shorter review, but um, I just thought I might as well, because I'm, I'm just bored and I'm making reviews. And so far, they seem to be getting pretty good feedback, so I guess people enjoy them. So, without further ado, I give you Ultraman. This is just season one. Six discs in total. They each are sold separately. Um, I've only actually watched the first half of it. It takes a long time to get through these. Uh, again, this is uh, this was done by the guy who created Godzilla. It's uh, sort of this guy who gets like this weird thing from. I think it was. I for I actually <laughs> I forget what back to the beginning of the series. He he gets this um, weird like light source thing. This cat light capsule. I think that's what it's called. And um, he when he like turns it on or whatever, he uh, becomes this Ultraman guy, and I think he gets it from an actual Ultraman from outer space who comes to Earth. So there's another whole race of Ultraman in like in the distant universe. Um, again, this is I bought this because I love to see Japanese monsters fight, and I figured I may as well just buy this. This will last me a long time. It's better than buying a movie every, all the time, and as far as buying Japanese uh, monster movies, this may as well just be buying in bulk, right? right? It's a TV series. And, um, so yeah, it's got, uh, episodes 1 to 20 on this part here, and, um, it's got 450 minutes of footage, and I've, I, over a course of about a year, I have managed to watch all of it. And, um, I'm pleased to say I have. Uh, no, I didn't spend hours on end sitting down in my basement watching this. I do have a life. But, uh, not to say that it's bad to watch this, I'm just saying I didn't watch it all in one, in one go. I'm not, like, I'm not crazy. But, um, yeah. It's, again, it's done by Eiju Tsuburaya in, in his, uh, Tsuburaya Productions area. And, um, again, he, I think he had a lot of, um, resources, because he was working at Toho for such a long time with the, uh, Godzilla movies. But, uh, so you can see he sort of has resources from the, from, uh, those old Godzilla movies, and he uses them in this, like, um, when he, there's that infamous episode, Godzilla versus Gyras in the States, or Gila in Japan, where, um, they pretty much just reuse a Godzilla suit, but it, it took a bit more, it took more thought than a lot of people think to just to put, like, just get a Godzilla suit, paint it, add the neck piece to it, um, I think that the actual suit from that movie, what, I've got a book all about this, upstairs in my room, um, yeah, there's, like, this, like, they took the body from, I think it was, I think it was from, it was from Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah, or Ghidra the Three-Headed Monster, as it's also known, and they took the, uh, head from Godzilla vs. Mothra, and they sort of disguised that with the, uh, weird neck thing, and then they just painted the suit over and stuff. And, um, so yeah, like, I don't think that's a bad thing. I mean, like, he recite, like, um, you do what you have to do, right? Like, this was all done on a limited budget, so, you know, they didn't really have a ch uh, any other choice. I mean, like, if they're on, if you're on a budget, you're going to try to cut corners whenever you can. That's why, uh, the effects aren't necessarily as good in a TV series as they are in a feature-length movie, because, you know, it's just a TV series. They don't give it, put as much attention into that. Although I'm sure Tsuburaya would have wanted it that way, but, you know, he didn't he didn't really have the control over that. Um, yeah. So, uh, this was following his first series, which was in black and white, called Ultra Q, and then it was followed by Ultra 7, and the Ultraman series are actually, I think they're still being, um, they're still making Ultraman TV movie, TV shows and movies up until now, even today. So this is really, he's just as popular as Godzilla. And, um, I can see why. He's awesome. And he spawned all sorts of, like, the, uh, I wouldn't really say knockoff TV series, but, you know, he, you got Zone Fighter from Toho, and you got Iron King from, uh, States. So, great series. If you have 450 minutes to kill, check that out. This is part two. Stay tuned for that. It's gonna take me a long time to get through this.